Should I go home now? <laughs> hey guys, Jessica here, and welcome back to the third episode of our Tabaho series, new season. And today I'm going to be a panadero. And this song may not have the title yet, but many would agree of it being the unofficial national bread of the Philippines. Although its name is a Spanish word which literally means salt bread, it is a traditional bread made in the Philippines back in the 16th century. In the Philippines, bakeries do not simply bake these goods for consumption. Baking bread and pastries is a part of the Pinoy lifestyle, a pasalubong to share with the loved ones, or a part of handa during special occasions. Thanks to the hard work and dedication of Pinoy bakers like Tachinto of the Napayan Festival Bake Shop, who had been firing up their ovens for 40 years for us to enjoy not only fresh, hot pandesal, but a variety of baked goods from morning to merienda. Today, let's learn more about Pinoy bakeries and how they capture these stories and tastes that Filipinos love through their bread and pastries. The baking culture of the Philippines, I know, has evolved throughout the history. And I also know that there is a really distinct type of Filipino bakery, like the famous pan de sal, pan de coco, bicho bicho, etc. So I'm so excited to learn more about the Pinoy bakery techniques and the culture and history. So let's go ahead and become the paladero for the day. How do I like my pan de sal? Like, how do I want to eat it? When it's just freshly bought in the bakery in the morning fluffy and chewy and on the outside it's like crumble powder yeah I want to know I never tried making pan sauce, so I'm so curious okay let's go to Tinapayan festival hello po hello po I'm Jessie Kuffle Jessica welcome to Tinapayan festival bake up ang Tinapay wow. ng Maynila wow. Alam mo ba kung bakit kami tinapay ng Maynila? Mm -hmm. Ilang hakbang lang mula sa amin ay ang bulaklaka ng Maynila. Mm, the Dangwa? Yes, market. Dangwa. At kami nagsusupply ng tinapay, hindi lamang sa City Hall. Minsan naging supplier kami ng Malacanang, oh! supplier kami ng Pagpor, at higit sa lahat, yung mga taga Maynila na matagal na namin pinakakain ng pandesal at ng iba't ibang uri ng tinapay. Oh, okay. How, how should I call you? Chito. I call you Pachito. Yes. So, ka is Tagalog. Yes, ka. Ako po ay nanggaling sa bayan ng Cuenca. Kaming mga Batanggenyo ang gumagawa ng pandesal sa Metro Manila. These are the products that we have in Kinabayan Festival. Wow. Is it Silvanas? Silvanas. My favorite. Yes. Meron tayong squash pandesal. Oh, that's the famous pandesal. And this is the malunggay one. Malunggay pandesal. This is an agri bread. This is 40% agricultural crop. We have yeah. around 200 variety products out of 40 years in the industry. Wow. For you to become an official employee of the day, you have to time in and wear proper uniform mm. to see and part of the baking process. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Wow. Hello, Pa. First thing that we have to do is we'll be receiving the raw materials. Uh -huh. So it's going down off the elevator. Oh. You're moving to the air here to oh. check if the weight of the raw materials is correct. You have to prepare that in the, in the, in there. Yeah, oh. the preparation site. Can I just wipe my sweat inside my mask? <laughs> Wait, why well, it's so hot? Kilos. 20 kilos of first class and 5 kilos third class. Ah, okay. Yes. First class, second class, what's First that? class is bread flour. Ah, uh, first class is bread flour. Yes, third class is soft flour. How about second class? Walang second Walang class. Walang second class. class. So, so, first class first and third class. class. Ah, yes. Yun yung harin ng ginagamit sa pandesal, ma'am. Why don't you just carry this and then pour like this? Okay, it's okay, ma'am. Wait, do you do that? You carry and then you pour. Yan! Walang mahinan. Then yeast, ma'am. Yan, yan dyan. Then, sunod na po natin yung Pantisal sugar. sugar. 2.5 kilos of sugar. Yes. <gasps> Next, ma'am, yung flour na nakailalagay na natin dun. Next <laughs> na po natin yung ano, for safety. And start the time up. Pandesal. 3.12. Yes. How many times in a week do you make? Every day, ma'am. Every day? That's yes. much? Oh. Add the butter. All of this? Yes. Margarine and shortening. No. Ah. What if I who look this? Yes. No, what if I who look this? Yes? Has anyone who looked the bread before? Do you have to pay for it if you who look the bread? Oh. So you should really not who look it. Wow. 
Then, papalapa din siya. Then, nire-roll yung mo siya, ma'am. <laughs> How do I do this? Dahan-dahan lang siya din. Spread mo, ma'am. Spread mo. Longer, ma'am. Longer. Oops! Oops! <laughs> Is this fail? It's for the Okay, and then? Wow! Is it? Ah, put it back. Okay, okay. I don't want to ruin their bread. Yeah, I'm cute. Okay, na masang pandesal na tayo. Okay, okay, you first, you first. So you're gonna transfer that. Wow! Oh my God! Wow! No, oh, yung yung kaya niyo lang, ma'am. Yung kaya. Wow! You know what's the bread? It feels so good. It's so soft, like slimy. Push, push, ah. ma'am, push. Wow! Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry for ruining your bakery. Guys, you know this is around more than 10 kilos. Okay, can I go home now? <laughs> Ah, I think this needs also technique. You need delicate hands and fine eyes for this. Nice. That took how many tries? Five. Five. Next step is lalagyan yun siya ng expiration date. This is the most fun. This is the most fun job. Wow. Next step, ma'am, lalagyan mo siya ng label. Just in the middle? Yes. You know, the thing is, like, Filipino bakery is really, really, really distinct. Like, there's really their own kind of bakery. Ma'am, pailangang pantay siya dun sa... <laughs> Yan. Nice one. Habang nagpapahinga na din tayo dun sa taas, pwede po kayong pumunta sa store para ma-experience nyo yung magbebenta ng pinapain. Okay, okay, okay. Let's start. Mm -hmm. First, you want to primarily raise our products. Okay. Velo and, and cheesy, cheesy roof. 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 Yeah, this is the best seller of our room. Samada, twisted ube. And Samada. Yeah, and Samada. This is the one I was packaging. Yes. Yeah. Wait, this is inside Mada? Cheese roll. You memorize every single product, yes. right? We need to memorize it before we sell to the oh, customer. No. Before you work here, you have to memorize yeah. everything no, first. first you will be familiarized. Ah, so it's okay yeah. if you don't know. Okay, yeah. Everyday routine, you will memorize, yes, the, memorize the price. Customer? Yeah. So many customers. Every day. <laughs> oh my god. So every day, you have this much people? Yeah. Okay, so. Okay. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Yes. Tuna roll. So it's unavailable. Oh. It's cooking. <laughs> Now it's we're making. We need to sell this area, ma'am. That long? Ah, uh, that long. That Premium. long cheese. So we get the paper bag yes. from here. So 35 times 3. 105? Yes, ma'am. 105. Five. <laughs> Five pula. I will Change. put it here, yeah. So I'm gonna give the money to? Cashier. Okay. The afternoon for uh, brownies. Brownies. Giving the brownies for. Oh, wait, wait, long, wait, long, wait. Long. Oh, thank, thank you. you! Thank you very much! Thank you! Brownies? How many? Japanese food! <laughs> Japanese? What is Japanese food? Don't. Pinoy bakery! Yan. Ilan po? Ilan? Isa? Isa? Ito yung best seller natin. How old? Best seller. Hello po. Mabili po ng ano, sampung Mr. Kobe, sampung Hentai Mada Classic, sampung Cicero, tsaka sampung Piano. Oh no! Come here, ma'am. You will put it in here. So everything in one box? Yeah. Wait, sampung empanada, sampung cheese roll, sampung enzyme. Wait, what? Is this how you do it? Yeah. One, two, three, nine, ten. Do you want the box to be reborn? You want? Okay. Is this for a gift? What kind of gift? A birthday gift. Birthday gift? Wow. wow! This one, I really was curious. Okay, I already lost it. <laughs> wow! Galing, galing! <laughs> to your birthday gift! Thank you! Thank you! Happy birthday! <laughs> How many sukis here that you know the face? 15? 15? 15? 15? Yeah! 
What was the most notable customer? When the customer is so angry at me. Like yes! what? Inano niya na ako mag not good in service. Like, not good in service kayo? Like that? Um, yeah. And she's shouting at me. It's okay. The part, the part. Oh. What about, was there anyone who... Like that? No. No, naman? No, no, naman. One, no one. No one. What? This is Ensai Mada. Ensai Mada. You're Ensai Mada? I ah, hear here. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Oh, Suki. What's your favorite bread here? Of course. Okay. Ensai Mada. Ensai Mada. Ah, yeah. And I love cream puff. Cream puff. Yeah, the cheesy loaf. The cheesy loaf also. Yeah, the best. Yeah. For how long have you been a suki here? Ah, since I was a kid. Yeah, I'm, I'm a you know I'm a Manila boy. Really? Yeah. I don't know if I can be a gentleman here, but uh, no, it's okay, it's okay. It's part of the job. It's, it's okay. okay. Yeah, it's part of the job. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Can thank I have you, a, thank you. Uh, yes, of course. Yes. Thank you for staying here. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna go check my pandesa. Let's go. We can get the pandesa. Another pandesa. You need good driving skills for this. Yay! Wow! Oh my god! This is really like big scale oven. Okay. Ah, pass! Ah, it's like rotating. Ah, okay. Number one? Where's the number? So there's the order in the tray. And then we put this. Sample, sample. Ah, okay, okay. Like this? Oh, okay. Together, together? Like this? Ah, so like that? Like that? Oh, okay. Like that? Like that? Like that? So this is what you're talking about a while ago. The oven is the hardest to work in front of the oven. Oh, oh. Kailangan ah. po natin timer. How long? 10 minutes lang po. 10 minute timer. Temperature? 205 Celsius? Ah, po. Wow, it's my first time seeing this kind of oven. How much is this oven? Almost half a million. Half a million. Wow. Oh, locally made? So this is really for para sa pandesa. All types of breads. Bread. Ah. Uh, okay. you put the bread away here? Di po namin iniiwan. Di pa pantay ang luto ka. Ah, so, Kailangan you laging... put in the oven. Dito talaga. Dito lang. Dito, wag ka lang lalayo. Ah, wag ka lang lalayo. Ah, uh, you have to oh. keep an eye. Sa tingnan-tingnan mo lang. Ganun lang. Ah. Kung ikita mo yung lahat ng bread every day, do you like bread or do you not really anything? Gusto, gusto, gusto. Oh, kami na mismo magagawa eh. Sometimes like if you see the same thing over and over and over and over again, it's like you get sick na. Like I don't want to eat that anymore. But then I feel like here, even if you keep working here, I think I'll also keep wanting to eat the bread. It looks so good. It smells so good and the texture and... I'm so hungry na. Mamaya pwede mo naman kakain mga pagluto na. Okay, okay. Check. Oh, it's already looking like the pangasaw, you know! Malapit na po maluto. Lapit na? Oo. A few moments later. <gasps> Looks so good! Ito, pwede na ito, ma'am. Pwede na? Oo. Uh, sige po. Ipitin mo lang ang pag-ano, tapos hilahin mo. Tapos ah. saka, saka mawawa ka. Ah, okay, saka okay. Saka mo mailipat okay, okay, okay. dito. Okay. It smells so good! So, kayo po. Tigyan ito po ang hawak ng karate like kayo pa. Right? Yeah. Wow! Ang mo, baka mapasok po. Did you ever get burnt? You need to take out now because the This one goes to the packaging floor. Oh, 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 <laughs> Baka may, maybe later kasi hindi yung allowed daw. Walang face ma? Walang ma mahingan? Dito na po nagtatapos ang yung nagawang pandesal ma. Let's go to salary. 
Go anytime! Since one day lang po kayo, ito po yung minimum rate talaga. Wala naman po kayong charges or mm. alta. Mga so, laglag. Yeah. Mm. So, makukuha niyo po siya ng buo. Thank you! And they count na lang po. Okay, count. Five, seven, All right, guys, so this is the pandesa that I got to bake in the bakery a while ago. And we're gonna have a little chit chat with Kachinto while trying them. <gasps> is this the freshly baked one? Yes. Is th this is? Yes. This is the one I made? Yes. That's the real pandesa. Mm. Wow. Yeah, this is taste of pandesa. You know what I noticed? Pandesa talaga is really the national bread of the Philippines, diba? Right? Yes. So why is that so? A few years back, 40% of the flour going to bread is pandesa. If it is burger buns is for America, lot bread is United Kingdom, then Philippines is pandesa. So it's really original from Yes. Here. Do you know what's the meaning of pandesa? Pan? Bread? Bread, salt, asin. Pandesal. Supposedly, pandesal should be tasted as salty bread. Ah, well, what, what is sweet now? Due to the evolution in the mid-80s, it became a little bit sweeter because of some changes in the formulation being done by the bakers. What makes Pinoy Bakery different from other bakery? Pinoy Bakery bake it with love and care. The small bakers of Cuenca, father is the one that bake pandesal, the mother is the one that sells it together with the children. This is a family business, a livelihood project. Most of the bakeries now that are big started from small. So what makes Pinoy Bakery different from other bakery is they put love and care. Love and care, dedication. What else? In terms of the flavor? The pandesal is acceptable to the taste of the Filipino. The pandesal that we have today is a little bit sweet, but we have to do something out of it. Dapat maibalik namin ito sa tamang timpla. Dapat gisingin natin at buklatin natin ang natatagong formula ng tamang paggawa at paraan ng pandesal para mapangalagaan natin at mapalago ang industriyang ito na ikinabubuhay ng maliliit na magtitinapay sa bayan ng Cuenca, probinsya ng Batangas, na kung saan ang pandesal ay isang datatanging tinapay na makapilipino, makabansa, at higit sa lahat, may papagbalaki nating pandesal ng Pilipino. Wait, that was so deep! Wait, too deep! Okay, so that was a little chit-chat of getting to know about pandesal. And it was so good. It's really good. Mr. Lucito, Chito Briones Chavez, kilala ko bilang panadero, may-ari ng Tinapayan Festival Bake Shop, ang Tinapay ng Maynila. Ako po ngayon ay gumagawa rin ng isang uri ng tinapay na linagyan ng agricultural crop at nang sa ganun naman, ang ating agricultural sector ay lumago. Siguraduhin ninyo na handa kayong magpagod, magpuyat. Siguraduhin ninyong marunong kayong magbake At siguraduhin ninyo na ang inyong sarili ay ilalaan ninyo bilang isang panadero na sa loob ng isang taon. Kahit Pasko, kaarawan mo, kinakailangan mo pang dingkod sa masang Pilipino. Napakaganda ngayon eh kasi may mga home baker ngayon. And we encourage more home baker. Madali nang mag-aral ngayon ng pagbibakery. Maraming baking school. Maliit lang ang puhunan dito. Isang maliit na oven, isang maliit na mixer, ilang kilo ng harina, ilang piraso ng itlog. 30 mil hanggang 50 mil pwede niyong pag-umpisahan. Pero kung ikay magtatayo ng isang community bakery, maliit na bakery na nakikita nyo sa panulukan ng ating lansangan, we need around 500,000, more or less, dahil kinakailangan mo magpagawa ng tindahan, bumili ng tamang oven, mga mixer, showcase, medyo malaki ng konti. I advise Filipinos who want to bake, mag-home baking muna tayo. Pero, huwag niyong kalimutan, mag-aral kayo ng teknolohiya sa paggawa ng tinapay, ang pagpapatakbo ng bakery, at dun sa mga existing bakery. Huwag kayong tumigil ng pag-aaral ng pagiging isang panadero 
para mapatibay natin ang ating hanap buhay. Hi, ako po si Jomark M. Delana, QA Productions sa Tinapayan Festival. Matagal na po ako dito sa Tinapayan. Seven years na po ako dito. First shift po namin, ang start po ng production nun is 4 a.m. Ang end po nun is 1 p.m. Second shift po namin is 2 p.m. until 12 midnight. Na-enjoy po namin yung paggagawa namin ng Tinapay na madami kaming napapakain sa mga mamimili. At na-enjoy po namin yung paggagawa, yung process. Challenging po dun is magluluto po kayo sa ano, sa oven. Kasi dun, dun po kayo possible na masunugan. Yun. Okay na, okay naman po yung performance niya. Kitang-kita naman po natin na nag enjoy siya sa ginagawa niya. Parang na-challenge po siya dun sa pagbuhat ng alaking masa, yung volume ng masa. Lahat naman po good job siya. Pero the best po sa kanya yung yung sa oven, yung pagkuhan dun kasi may sobrang init po nun eh. Opo, parang sanay, nasanay po siya sa pagbubuhat ng mga ano. So honestly, I was shocked by how simple steps actually were. I was shocked by how much sugar you put in there. And then, the most shocking part, because they really make huge quantity, right? I didn't know that's how heavy the bread is. I never done that, right? I love baking as a kid, so I would bake you know, at home for the family. But here, it's really different scale. And I only saw it in those like videos. They do it so easily, so I thought it was not that heavy. But actually, the dough is so heavy and everything's in large quantity. Everything's so... The oven is big. So it's really, really the next level of homemaking. Next, next level. Just being in there. It's so hot there. It's so hot and you're wearing masks, your hair net, no phone, no taking off of gloves, no talking. So it's like, you really have to focus on making the bread. So yeah, you need lots of passion for that too. Yeah. My favorite part, sticking the expiration sticker. <laughs> That's an easy F job. And I've never done that before. But my actual favorite should be, I guess, touching the bread, like panning. Because the bread, the texture is so good, right? It's so addicting, like slime, soft. You know, it's just healing by touching it. Most of it I can't understand, but like at the end, the very deep Tagalog, I was a bit like, oh. But I was reading uh, Noli in Tagalog. <laughs> So many things. So it's just my first time seeing the whole bakery scene. So that's why I was just shocked by how they moved around, like with their own positions and stuff. But also, most importantly, I guess I got to learn about the whole depth and the value of people Aww. bakery. Making with love and care. Because they did it in large scale, but then they still do it by manpower. Still, it's a hand. That's why you still need a lot of delicacy in making the bread. Yeah, obviously love and care, dedication, but also... I feel like nowadays you also really need that kind of pride that Kachinto had. Like some kind of pride in what you make and what you produce and have really a vision for what you're doing instead of like just doing it passively, right? That passion and pride really matters a lot. All right, guys, so that was a long shoot. Wait, I didn't get the out sticker. Anyway, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my day in the life of being a panadero, panadera. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>